Chromium is the 24th element on the periodic table. It is most commonly used in stainless steel. It, nickel, and iron are all alloyed together in different concentrations to make stainless steel. Quote unquote silverware, like the spoon right here, is actually stainless steelware. And if you look at it, it's really shiny. It's actually just as, as shiny as silver. And it's even more shiny than silver after a while because silver will get tarnished and the stainless steel won't get tarnished. Chromium is one of those elements that has tons of oxidation states and has tons of cool colors of its compounds and water and all that kind of stuff. However, a lot of chromium salts are very toxic and so I'm not going to do this kind of experiment with the chromium salts, but I'm going to do it with the next element, manganese. So I am going to show you just two different chromium salts in their container, because that I can do here. Um, although, even though I won't show you any chemical reactions with the different chromium salts. So, here are the two chromium salts, and you can see uh, here we have chromium nitrate, and it's hard to see on the camera, but it's a, it's a kind of green, greenish color. And here's potassium chromate, which is a nice yellow color. And um, these uh, chromium salts typically are pretty carcinogenic. This one is more carcinogenic than this one, because if you notice, um, this is potassium chromate, and this is chromium nitrate. So in this case, Chromium is the, in the cationic state, and in this case, chromium is in the anionic state, along with um, some oxygen. Chromium is typically more carcinogenic in the anionic state, especially if it's covalently bonded to more oxygen. As I've said before, chromium is one of those elements with tons of different oxidation states, and these two salts represent just two of the many oxidation states. Another very common um, one that I don't have is potassium dichromate. Um, it is quite a bit more carcinogenic than potassium chromate, and I didn't have any particular use for it, so I didn't buy it. Another very common chromium salt is ammonium dichromate, and there's a very cool experiment you can do with ammonium dichromate. In this experiment, you take a pile of ammonium dichromate and just light it on fire. It'll make kind of a volcano and it'll start spitting chromium oxide. Now the thing about this is that ammonium dichromate is extremely, extremely car carcinogenic. It's actually a level 4 health hazard on the fire diamond. So I did not choose to attempt to do this very, very, very dangerous experiment. Although many other people have tried to do this experiment and have succeeded and there are tons of cool of <clears throat> there are tons of cool videos on YouTube of people doing this experiment so you can go on YouTube and watch your fill of these of this great experiment and to all those people who tried it enjoy your cancer as always I try to show you a sample of the element I'm talking about and chromium's no exception so here I have um, some hunks of chromium and if you look at them, you can see they're actually not shiny at all. And the spoon that I heard, had earlier, this spoon right here, is just a little bit of chromium and it's extremely shiny. So the reason that these aren't very shiny is that they're not polished and there are microscopic grooves inside them that absorb a lot of the light and make them kind of a dull gray color. I don't want to polish them because chromium dust is extremely toxic and we don't really have a good way of really polishing them. Mm. And so you're just going to have to trust me. If these were polished, they'd be extremely, extremely, extremely shiny.